Yo, I'm Joe, and welcome back to another video with Joe's Book 6 here. Today, I'm going to show you the new toll system that is going to be brought to the JR Development Store. I'm going to show you how to install it. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you how to edit the script. So what we're first going to do is we're going to get the file. The file is located in the Discord server. Remember, to import a file, what you do is you drag and drop it from your file explorer, or you can import it through the import function on Roblox. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to put these in the correct place. So it says put in the correct place. Leader stats, this is going to go in server script service and toll is going to go in workspace. We can now delete this if we so want. So that's what I'm going to do. As we can see in toll, it's going to be made up of four different cameras. You can delete any of these cameras and it'll still happily work perfectly. So if you wanted to delete camera one, then you can delete camera one. So you can separate the system out into different ones if you want. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just talk you through the system quickly. So the cam uh, will have a cam capture part. This is this part here. So if you drive through it, you'll get told. So this is the script so far. We can see that price is determined by script.parent.parent.values.pricevalue.value, which is this value here. So change this to whatever you want the price to be set at. So at the moment I've set it to three. So three dollars or three pounds, three euros, three yen, etc. So you can set that to whatever you want. Then we've got the cam, which is this part, so we can get the spotlight. So if a person touches it, then it'll check if a if it's a real player. If it's a real player, it'll then continue the script. If not, it ends. So the script becomes enabled dot false so that it doesn't over detect over and over again so if someone walks through it, it doesn't detect 15 times while it's going through the part uh player dot leader stats dot wallet data dot value equals player dot leader stats dot wallet data dot value minus the price so pretty much this means whatever the whatever the player's leader stat is for their money which i've called wallet data for me because that's what the leader stat says it is equals the leader stat minus the price and price is obviously determined off price value. Then what it does is it makes the camera transparency zero. So that is for the flash part. And the spotlight turns on. So that is for the actual flash. Then we've got a wait 0.2. That is how long it takes between flash on and flash off. And this turns the flash off. It waits three seconds and then it re-enables the script. So if one car goes through, it waits three seconds for the next car to go through to actually hit it. You can change this down to 0.5 seconds, 10 seconds, 100 seconds. It doesn't matter that much. Now that we've gone over that, what I'm going to show you is that they have all got the exact same script in. So you can do whatever you want. This is models. These are just the camera models. So you can delete any of these, these don't matter, you can change them. And this is the gantry, you can change that as well, if you may feel that you want to. So then we've got price value, again we can change this to whatever we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play. You can press play here, because that's what I want to do. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into player, there, leader stats, and we can see that at the moment, through testing, I've got minus $306. Okay, so if I was a driving car, brum 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 we can see that I set off both because I went through both gantries at the same time. But if I'm going through just this, we can see that it goes off. But if I was to go through them all, we can see that it goes, it detects them all and the money goes down as well. As we can see, that's all working, which is pretty much how the system works. If you want to see more systems, subscribe and everything's in the JR Development Store. Bye bye.